wait for that. Cheers. Oh, oh, naughty. Sure, I'm not drinking that rubbish. Sure, I've got more respect for me inside. Yeah, aren't you going to drink that, then? Not likely. It's about time you sent that tea urn in for a decoke. There's nothing wrong with my urn. Thank uh, you yeah, well, much. in that case, your horse is in need of medical attention. <laughs> oh, very comical. For your information, my urn is scoured out twice a week with washing soda. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, in that case, do us a favour. Next time, leave out the washing soda before you put the tea in, will you? I'm fed up with complaints about my tea. If you don't like it, have the coffee. Huh, your coffee's even worse. <laughs> Having another little tea break, are we? Marvellous, isn't it? Eh? No, it is not marvellous, Blake. You want to do something about that rotten canteen tea? Look, I've got more th important things to do than worry about rotten canteen tea. Now, get the work out of it. No, we're on. not due out yet. Oh, yes, you are. I've got a new trainee clippy for you this morning. Oh, new clippy, eh? Yeah, now control yourself now. Yeah, a little dolly bird, is she? <laughs> yeah, it's all you can think about, little dolly birds, isn't it? Oh, no, no, no. Sometimes I think about big dolly birds instead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Depends yeah. how I'm feeling. Yeah, <laughs> sex maniacs, you are. Yeah, that's all right. All right, come on, let's see that. Where is she? All right, where is she then? Come on, let's have her. <laughs> uh, Miss Crawford. <laughs> Harper and Wilmot. Oh! Oh, my God. A dolly yeah. little bird, eh? More like an old boiler. <laughs> All right. So you found them at last, have you? Yeah. About time to. Right. Which one of them's which? Well, this is Arthur. Oh. That's the one. Uh, any complaints whatsoever, I want you to let me know right away. <laughs> He'd be lucky. Yeah, so will you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you waiting for? Someone to fire a gun? Eh? Uh, uh, <laughs> well, You'll need a rule book, won't you? Oh, I've already got one, haven't I? Have you? Well, of course I have. I've got my rule book, I've got my uniform, I've got my union card, I've got my ticket machine, I've got my medical certificate. If I stand around here much longer, I get pneumonia and all. <laughs> right. Now, which bus is it? Over here, love. Thank you. Have a nice journey, Arthur. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Don't thank me, mate. It's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Sid, can I do the journey back in your cab? What for? Ah, it's that blooming Jesse, mate. She never stops nattering. Uh, I like, mate. Hey, listen, I'm gonna nip over for a quick eye your father. You coming? Yeah, well, at least she can't follow me in there. The trouble with you is you just don't know how to handle her. I don't want to handle her, mate. I want to throttle her. <laughs> I could kill Blackie putting on our bus. Come on. I mean, after all, on if one P is one P, I mean, why should we? <laughs> oh, I never play, Jesse. Well, what do you do? Pick the lock with your hairpin? We all use the money from the fairs. Look, it's the principle of the thing, Olive. I mean, the men don't have to pay for theirs. Why should we pay to use ours? Oh, well, I think men are a bit different to women. Look, dear, a kettle is different from a teapot, but they both are water, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, love. Feeling better? No. I think it's disgraceful. What is? Us having to pay to use that thing. You and Jack don't have to pay? Well, what if we use that one, love? They'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's typical, isn't it? They think that rights for women is a joke. Yeah, and I think it's all wrong. I think men and women should be exactly the same. Oh, blimey! I shall miss the bus! That's the story of her life. <laughs> <laughs> men make me sick. You never lift a finger to help us girls. Well, if you girls want to chain yourself to those railings, we won't stop you. Come to think of it, we'll help. <laughs> now, hang on, Jesse. Now, I reckon you've got a point there, huh? Hey? Well, I mean, one P here, another P there, it all mounts up, doesn't it? Yeah, if I were you, I'd have a word with Blakey about that, I said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's his job to keep the employees happy, isn't it? Yeah, and the union will back you up. I think so. Here, who's the shop steward? He is, love. Right. <laughs> you, you want an allowance for what? You would. No, you better leave this to me, darling. Look, he's led a very sheltered life. Now, you see, the point is, Blakey, that men and women are different. Well, I know that, don't I? No, 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 what I mean is that men don't have to pay to go, but women do. Will you shut up and mind your own business? It's no concern of yours, no. Oh, yes, it is very much my concern. Look, you are a bus conductor, not a lavatory attendant. <laughs> More's a pity. Yeah, I also have to be the shop steward, didn't I? It's not a union matter. Ah, but it could be, unless something's done about it. I've got all the lads behind me. Me, haven't I? Of course you have, right. brother. Yeah, they always stick up for their own. Yeah. Right, brother. Do you wish to take up this officially with the union? Oh, oh, I get it. He's put you up to this, hasn't he? Oh, 
no, he hasn't. Yes, he has. He's always tried to stir it up for me. You've got a nasty, sordid mind. There is nothing sordid about a girl having to go to the loo. <laughs> Keep your voice down. Don't you uh, shut up. Look, he's all embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> he's blushing like a beetroot. I am not blushing like a beetroot. And if you had any manners at all, Arp, you'd know that there are certain subjects we do not discuss in mixed company. Now, get your bus out. Oh, well, I mean, of course, if you want to strike on your hands... <laughs> strike. We girls want a special allowance from you. Unless we get it, I'm going to call this old... Look, it's up. no good of going on, miss. It's not up to me. Right, so take it up with the general manager. Oh, yeah, yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd like to see me go in that office and make myself look a fool, wouldn't you? Well, why not? You're making a very good job of it out here. <laughs> so, I mean, if you want to see the old depot paralysed... Oh, all right, then. I'll go and have a word with him. He won't like it. <laughs> For heaven's sake, Blake, come to the point. What exactly is the problem? Well, so I've been trying to explain it as delicately as I can. You haven't explained it at all yet. All I've been able to gather so far is that you are having trouble with one of the clippies. Is yeah. that one? Yeah, she's uh, given me a sort of an ultimatum, sir. You what? Yeah. Well, I suppose it is my responsibility, really. What is? It's a delicate matter, sir. Blake, you haven't put her in the club, have you? Huh? <laughs> Can you say a thing like that to me, sir, after all the years of service I've put in? Well, you're not past it, are you? <laughs> no. Well, then. You haven't seen her, have you? Might save a lot of time if I did. Oh, I hate that Arthur. I hate oh, him, I hate him. So it's Arthur and one of the clippies, is it? Not one of the clippies, sir. It's the old blooming lot of them. Good God. <laughs> well, no, things got a bit hectic at the busman's ball, but I've no idea he turned it into an orgy. <laughs> you don't understand, sir, you see. You see, the... Oh. When the, uh, when the girls are out on the road, sir, they, uh... <laughs> Carry on, Blake. <laughs> well, they, they get taken... <laughs> they have to visit the little house, sir. <laughs> Good. The girls have to pay, you see, sir, and consequently... They want a public loo allowance. I knew it, I knew you wouldn't like the idea, sir. I told oh, you... No, you no, 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 no. I quite oh. agree. Hey? I'll make the necessary authorisation. You don't want to do that. You think of all the paperwork. You, you don't want that bother. I won't have that bother, Blake. It was your idea. You get on with it. <laughs> oh. Well, love, it's no more than you deserve. It's about time you girls had a complimentary what's it. Mum, it's a supplementary public convenience allowance. Well, that's what I said. Here, how much will you get? Well, it all depends. You have to put a claim in for the number of times you've been. Ah, well, you're going to do very well out of that. <laughs> Trouble was, when I came to write it down, I couldn't remember how many times I'd gone. Oh, dear. Took me the whole lunch hour. In the end, I had to get me mate Sandra to help me. Oh. Well, you don't go together, do you? No, she's better at adding up than I am. Oh. Ooh, that'll be the inspector. Here, I'll tell you what. Next time, put a little note in your diary. Well, I'd have to get a bigger diary. Oh. Oh. This job will be the death of me. Huh? Nobody blooming will care, is it? Ah, now yeah. then. Come along. You'll feel very much better when you've eaten this. Oh, I don't know, Mrs Butler. I don't know if I feel like eating anything. Oh, good. I'll have it then. <laughs> <laughs> well, now then, what's it all about? <laughs> I'll tell you what it's all about. It's your daughter and the rest of the girls at the depot who are trying to bankrupt the company. That's what they're doing here. Look at these, look. Ooh. Look at this, look. Miles of them here. I've got them all over the place. I'm stowed under with them. Well, what you are know? they? They're claims for allowances. Ooh. And if what your daughter's put down is true, Mrs Butler, you want her to have her medically examined. <laughs> here, look at this. I've got hers, look. Yes. Olive Butler, Clippy First Grade. That's a laugh for a start, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Number of visits to the public convenience, 247 times. <laughs> 247 times? Well, it's true. What, in one week? Do you realise that's 40 visits a day? Oh, no. Not in one week. I've put down all the times I've been since I was a clippy. <laughs> it's, it's not a backdated claim. <laughs> oh, well, you should have said. That's why I had so much trouble remembering, <laughs> Mum. Oh. <laughs> Look at this one here, look. Sandra Lumley, that's her mate. Yes. Loo money, £2.30, and a ruined pair of tights ruining the execution of her duty. <laughs> now, what does that mean? Oh, 
old Jack tried to goose her in the canteen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we paid every time he'd do that and the company would go bankrupt. Here, and listen to this one. Beryl Hopkins for phoning her mother in an emergency, three pounds. What kind of emergency? She got caught short without her handbag. <laughs> well, where does her mother live? Australia? No, she was on holiday in Majorca at the time. Yeah, that, that proves it, you see. They're taking the company for a ride, Mrs. But I'm going to go straight up and tell the manager to cancel the old thing. Oh, Mum! You can't do that. It isn't fair. No, ain't it? No. Suppose you have to pay. How would you feel? Well, I wouldn't feel like going 40 times a day for a start, would I? <laughs> well, how many times would you feel like it? None of your business. Yes, it is. Because from now on, every time you use my toilet, you're going to pay for it. <laughs> I shall put one P for every time you go on your bill and see how you like paying for it. All right. All right, then. Bill. Here's 100 P's for a month in advance. <laughs> I'll tell you this, if I've got to pay to go, Mrs Butler, you can have that lavatory seat mended. <laughs> You want me to give the girls an allowance, now you want me to cancel it. What the hell's going on? Yes, you may well ask, sir. Do they want a public convenience allowance or do they not? They're taking liberties. That's what they're doing, sir. Diabolical liberties. Oh, are taking. dear. Yeah. Spending all day in there, are they? No, no, it's not that at all, sir. They're falsifying the claims. That's what they're doing. They're saying they've been when they haven't. Oh, I tell you, it's, it's diabolical what they're doing. So I've had, I've had claims for over 200 visits. Altogether? No, that's from one girl. Good God. Yeah. Oh, there's no end to the lies they're telling here, sir. They're making claims of taxis home, travel sickness pills, uh, ruined tights. And I've even had a claim for four yards of elastic. Whatever for? Oh, I don't know, sir. I've got no intention of trying to find out. <laughs> Look, they're taking liberty, sir. They're trying to ruin the scheme. Cancel it. What? Never strike on my hands? That's a point, yeah. Anyway, I'll give them my word. But you have got to put a stop to these false claims, Blake. How can I do that? Uh, if a girl says she's been, how can I prove she hasn't? <laughs> Short of having her x rayed. Check with her drivers. Hey? Tell the girls that their claims are not valid unless they have been countersigned by the drivers of their buses. Well, the drivers won't like that, sir. It's only a temporary measure. As soon as we know how many times they need to go, we'll give them some sort of weekly rate. Well, how are you going to work it out? I'm not. You are. Hey? I want you to take a sort of sample. Hey? It's not my job to take samples, huh? Let the medical officer do it. I mean, do a sort of spot check. Huh? Follow them round. Find out how many bona fide visits the average girl makes per day. Oh, marvellous. I'm going to be run off my feet, aren't I? The fresh air will do you good. It won't be all that fresh, will it? <laughs> I'm sure I'll put three times then. Go. Blimey. That inspector's got a nerve. Here, you girls seen this? What? Look, supplementary convenience allowance. In view of the false claims submitted by employees, female in brackets, all future claims must be endorsed and countersigned by drivers, male in brackets. <laughs> well, we are not standing for that, are we? Oh, I should think not. Uh, no, we're not. What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> it means that every time you want to have a tinkle, you're going to have to go up to the driver's cab and get his permission in writing. Charming. Well, suppose he says no. You lose your deposit. <laughs> well, I'm not going to ask my driver. Nor am I. Don't you worry, love. We're not going to. If that inspector wants to be awkward, well, then so can we clippers. Now, look, Sandra. How many public loos are there on your bus route? About four or five. Right. Now, from now on, we are going to be stopping off at every one of them. Oh, no. I couldn't, love. I'm not made that way. <laughs> could you, Olive? Oh, well, I don't know if I could manage all five. I'll have a go. <laughs> Look, love, you don't actually have to go. Oh? Well, no, you just pop in, wait a couple of minutes, and then pop out again. It's a sort of dry run. <laughs> so every time we see a loo, we stop the bus. Is that it? Right. Oh. Now, pass the word round to the girls. They've all got to use their emergency stop signals. Three tings a tinkle. <laughs> Three tings a tinkle. Right.
now you have got to do something about what's generally... I mean, how can we run the buses on time and the girls keep stopping us? Oh, 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 all right, fellas, look, as soon as Blakey turns up, I'll have a word with him, all right? You'd better with that belly. What do you mean? What, what do you mean, as soon as he turns up, where is he? I don't know, he's completely vanished. Well, he better unvanish quick and tell those girls where they get off. Oh, we know that, don't we? Every blooming public convenience. Yeah. <laughs> God, what a place to have a sit in. Yeah. Do you know I had to make 15 <laughs> emergency stops on that cemetery gates run? Yeah. We were passed three times by funerals. Sure. <laughs> Comes to something when it's quicker by us. Sure. Oh. There he is. There's a manager been looking for me. Everybody's been looking for you, Blackie. Where you been? I've been in the police station. Huh? <laughs> I got arrested for being a peeping Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you the boys dirty go. old man, you. What are you <laughs> talking about, dirty old man? It wasn't true. I was doing research. Yeah, that's what they all say. Yeah, so when does your case come up, Blakey? Uh, don't. Uh, Station sergeant turned out to be a friend of mine. Uh, Let me off with a caution. Nothing else. No apology. Nothing at all. This is all your fault, Harper. No, don't talk to me, mate. Talk to Jessie. Yeah, and who, who put her on to me in the first place? Who put her up to you, did Harper? I'll have you, but it's you say about that, even if I lose my pension for oh, it. I think you've already lost it, Inspector. Hey? The manager wants to see you upstairs, doing his nutty is. <laughs> oh, 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 cool. Yeah, what would you like for a leaving present, Blakey? Pair of binoculars? No, oh, <laughs> you needn't be so perky, twinkle toes. Huh? He wants to see you and all. Oh, blimey. <laughs> we cannot possibly go on like this. The buses are running late, and I've had people ringing me up all day complaining about it. I have even had a complaint from a lady who runs a public convenience. Because her regular customers can't get a look in. <laughs> now, I've had quite enough of this nonsense. No, I've had more than enough yeah, of this. Yeah, so before. the drivers. Well, the clippers aren't exactly enjoying it, you know. Yeah, now, you're having the top of your lives. What? Being spied on every time we want to spend a penny? I wasn't spying. I was doing research. Don't give me that. You're a dirty old man. Will you be quiet? <laughs> we'll get nowhere by losing our tempers. Now then, when the inspector first told me about the girl's problems, I authorised a public convenience allowance. Yes, I know. Mm. So I blame myself, really. Oh, don't lash yourself, so it wasn't all your fault. I blame myself for letting you organise it. <laughs> I should have known you'd got us into trouble. Now, as the public convenience allowance is clearly unworkable, I suggest we give each girl an automatic increment. What's that, a portable one they take on the bus? <laughs> it's a flat weekly rate. And what we have got to decide is how much. 50p a week. That sounds very reasonable. It yeah, must be joking. I'm not we joking. Don't well, I'm not... Be quiet and listen to the manager. <laughs> Let us look at it scientifically. How many times does a girl need to go when she's away from the depot? Uh. Now, this is a chart of some of our routes with the adjacent conveniences marked in red. Ah, well, that one by the station's out of order for a start. Blockage. Mm, I'm not surprised. Never been used so much since it was opened. Well, forget about that one. Now, let us take an average route, the War Memorial Run. What is a reasonable number of times that a girl can expect to go to the toilet on this route? Well, that depends, doesn't it? On what? Well, size of a clippy for a start, sir. <laughs> take Olive Butler. Must we? Couldn't we take Sandra instead? I am talking about a purely hypothetical girl. Oh, are you? Well, I am talking about the weather. What's the weather got to do with it? Well, the cold affects some people. I mean, you're very exposed standing on that bus platform. Every time somebody opens the door, the wind whistles right round your ticket machine. <laughs> hey, sorry about that. Every time we have a cold snap, put in for danger money. The point is, sir, uh, this hypothetical clippy, how much tea she got inside of her? They drink a lot of tea, them clippers, you know. Oh, I suppose you'd like her to go to work on an empty stomach. No, no, we'll allow her a cup of tea. Just one? Oh, she'll want more than that. Not in our canteen, she won't. All right. We'll give her two cups. And if you had a spark of decency in you, you'd give her some warm underwear and all. Yeah, what about asking for an hot water bottle? She's got a long journey ahead of her. She's only going to the war memorial. She's not setting off for the moon. Got a point there, sir. I wonder how them astronauts managed. I mean, they couldn't nip out for a quick what's it, could they? Oh, you know, they had one fixed into their... Will country. you stick to the point? <laughs> Be quiet. We are talking about the clippies and how much to give them. 50p a week. Well, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's it's that is ridiculous. Shut up! Now, let's try again. This hypothetical clippy sets off from the depot with two cups of tea. She might want three. When she gets to no, the audience, no, she, she might want three. Oh, oh, in fact, she might want three. Oh, 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 it's scientific. Oh, 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 it's got to be scientific. Well, 
You got that, Jessie, to thank for getting your 50p a week more. Yeah, and it's backdated to the beginning of the year, so we get a convenience bonus as well. Oh, how lovely. Here you'll be able to buy yourself something nice with that. Something you really need. Well, I really need some knickers, but I'd sooner buy something that shows. Oh, well, I've been a bit extravagant myself today. Yeah? I got the toilet seat repaired. Oh, the man came round this afternoon and he put a bit of paint on the seat. We well, looks lovely. What colour? Powder blue to match the curtains. Oh. Of course, the seat isn't quite dry yet, so we'll have to nip next door to Jack's. Oh. Have you seen this in the evening paper? Oh, not bad news, I am. It's bad news. The manager's going to do his class when he sees this. Oh, okay. but listen, this will concern you, Cloth ears. Listen to this. At last night's council meeting, the town clerk stated that as from next week, all public conveniences, both male and female, will be free of charge. Is that all? I knew that already. Who what? Yeah, I knew it last week. Woman in the laundrette told me. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me then? Because <laughs> she told me in confidence. Oh, I've had just about as much as I can tell. I'm going to go upstairs to the bathroom. <laughs> and don't you come hammering on the door either. I want to be left in peace. Oh, I say, I seem upset. I hope he's not going to stop up there long. His chips will go all soggy. <laughs> oh, I never told him. About the seat being wet. He doesn't know. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs>